Hello Virgo. The cards information is listed below. So let's go on ahead and get started. What we have is your current situation. What has happened in the recent past one to two months leading to your situation, the future outcome. So, and of course it's based off taking the recommendations, whether or not those things could potentially happen. So what you have is your situation. You have prayer and this is Archangel Sandalfun. So you are opening up to the divine guidance that you're getting. So for a number of you, you have, you've been receiving divine guidance for quite some time, but you have not been, they're saying receptive to it, but you have been open to that. You've been open to their guidance. You've also been open to healing. A lot of you, they have been doing a lot of healing to help you. Some of you speak your truth, but they have been helping you heal your heart to start to love yourself enough for knowing what you are deserving. They've been helping you come to the understanding of higher wisdom, higher knowledge, higher knowing. You have been focusing on yourself. And again, this is your situation. You are gonna be focusing on yourself. And they're saying finally opening up to new opportunities, allowing the disappointments, losses, the things that you're grieving to finally fall away and releasing your attachment to those things so that you can be open to new things. And I'm looking at bottoms of these decks real quick. So for some of you, you've been having some difficulty imagining solutions, imagining where you're going to be going from here. Um, you're like, okay, so I've, <laughs> I've had these things fall away. I'm trusting, uh, but where do I go from here? So for a number of you, they do encourage you to ask for their help um, and sincerely ask for their help, you know, okay, you know, God, Jesus, angels, I, I, I let this person fall away, the situation, this job, but I, I don't know where you want me to go from here. So can you please give me signs? And you, can you open this new path, open it so wide that I will have zero confusion, that I will know immediately, oh, boom, that's my job, that's my person, that's my thing. So ask them, ask them very clearly to do that for you and continue to keep listening to the guidance that you're receiving from them because you do have this amazing new opportunity, amazing new person, partnership coming in. Now for a number of you, so what has led to this? You have this card surrender fear. At the bottom it says, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions, again solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward. So for a number of you, you've just felt like, oh my gosh, this is taking forever. And for some of you, it is someone that you have been romantically involved with that you've had a, a business with. Maybe you've owned real estate with them. And, and there's, for some of you, a legal matter with a person. So you've been waiting forever for this legal matter to be resolved. Like all the properties that you've owned with this person to be sold or for the um, disillusion, the divorce proceedings, you've just been waiting forever for it to be concluded. Uh, but a lot of you are still holding on, but it's, it's really holding on to, holding on to out of like frustration, disappointment, like it, like you weren't happy. So for those of you that this was a relationship, you weren't happy in the relationship. There was a lot of anger, conflicts, backstabbing, betrayal, hurt, adversity. One of you constantly trying to control the other one. Because one of the cards that I was looking at the bottom of the deck was like, you know, surrender the idea that you can fix someone and surrender your desire to control people. So be it you trying to control them or them trying to control you. One of the, one of you in this relationship had this like wanting to control the other one, you know, maybe they didn't want you to be with someone else, but they didn't want you, but, but a lot of controlling, controlling to other people, comparing to other people, uh, also thinking that you could fix that person, that person, of course, thinking, because it's general reading, that person thinking they could fix you. But we, but we had someone in this relationship that was controlling and manipulating the other one, that thought they could fix the other one, that they thought they could make this work out. But they keep also saying control, control. They can, a lot of trying to control the person, manipulate the person, fix the person. There's been a lot of anger, a lot of hurt, but you are coming out of this just very frustrated. And you're like, okay, so it's, it's finally over. But they're saying for a number of you, you still have not accepted that it's over, which we're seeing down here. Okay. So they're pointing out, I don't know if you can see this crescent moon. They're pointing out the crescent moon. So they're talking about this, these new moons and they're talking about Mercury retrograde. Oh, that's the problem. Okay. So Mercury retrograde is, we will be in the shadow phase. So what happens is a lot of times we'll begin to feel that energy of Mercury retrograde even before we get there. 
we had a new moon. So many of you are again mentally revisiting this because of Mercury retrograde. Because what, what happens with Mercury retrograde is Mercury retrograde Mercury retrograde gives us an opportunity to look back at things that maybe didn't end so well, um, but it's typically something we didn't learn a lesson on. So what'll happen is in a relationship, so maybe we have a relationship with someone. We don't want to be with them, we've accepted it's over, but you know, about four times a year, we start thinking about them and reaching back out to them, which is a cycle that you have had and need to break. Uh, but the reason that we may reach out to them all the time is because maybe we've learned that, maybe we have not concluded learning that we are good enough. Maybe we haven't learned that we're amazing, we're worthy of love. You know, because when we learn to love ourselves, we don't put up with shenanigans. So when you are concluded and you have finally finished healing your heart, because you are going through this healing, it's not complete because this card is about healing. Your healing is not complete, but when your healing is complete, you'll be like, dang, why did I put up with his or her baloney for that damn long? What was wrong with me? Mm -mm, I am too good for all that. I'm not gonna put up with that anymore. But we don't get to that phase until we love ourselves enough. So what happens is Mercury retrograde comes around, and since we haven't healed ourselves enough, that we like, oh, well, well maybe I do miss them, but there were some good times of the, 15, 20 years, you know, like maybe 10 months total was good, but you know, we will be nostalgic and we'll be thinking back, but it's not because we love them. It's not because we're meant to be with them. It's not because they're our fate. It's because we haven't learned that lesson. We haven't healed enough to say, oh no, mm, I don't want anything to do with them. We haven't learned the lesson that they were here to teach us, to respect ourselves, to love ourselves. Because you'll find that when we're with karmic partners, and, and I say karmic because karmic is, you know, learning a lesson, learning something. So, you know, we'll have some partners that are really bad for us, that are horrible for us. Well, they come into our lives to teach us to love ourselves, to teach us to put boundaries down, to teach us to get rid of what's not good for us, and to only allow someone who comes in that is what we're deserving of. Uh, so to make this clear for those of you that this is love, this is not your twin flame. This is not George Winslow. This is not the person that you are meant to be with. This was simply a karmic partner who was to teach you a lesson. Now, I know that there are some of you out there that are in fact true twins. You should listen to your moon or your rising sign messages. Oh, and they're saying we are gonna to touch briefly on work piece for you. But for those of you that this is love, not the person that you're meant to be with, you know that you've had this karmic off and on again, on again, off again cycle for years. For far too long. Uh, the way that you'll notice because there's been so much anger. So what happens with twins is there's not these drawn out anger blow ups, yelling, cursing, hating on each other. That doesn't happen. I mean, you don't, with twins, they'll just like, just not talk. They just won't share the things, but you don't have this betrayal. They're showing me betrayal, deception. There was a female in the relationship. Now, keep in mind, it's general, you can turn around, but they're showing me there's this card in this deck that has this woman, um, deception she's holding, it says false person, she's holding this fan up, they're showing me that card. So there was a female in this relationship who was lying, deceptive, trickery. Uh, now it could be the guy, it could go either way, but they are showing me the female. But there was straight up lies, deception, concealment, uh, concealed hate, concealed anger, you don't have that with twins. So for those of the other question, but Nicole, I'm a twin. Oh, Nicole, I've had a reading with you can turn. This isn't for you. You'll want to listen to your moon or your rising sign, unless this little piece about work that we're going to talk about in a minute is for you. But we need to speed this up so we can get these done today. But there's this person. So you've got this retrograde that's making you feel oh so nostalgic and maybe try it again. Because here's so they want to cover what their recommendations are. You've got this nature. Sometimes all you need is to go outside, breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. Then you've got the six of chalices and you've got the knight of swords. So again, these are the angels recommendations for you. So you have this six of cups. This is of course nostalgia. And I see she's older. She's looking in this river, but she's, there aren't two people in there. She's just having memories of like good times. 
So with this person, you did have good memories, but it was years ago. It was so long ago and it was far and few in between. So you may have had a great day and then you went through, you know, seven months of hell and then, okay, a great weekend. And then it was horrible again. But they're saying that this big thing is you are fearful of change is what it really is. Now it's this Mercury retrograde that's making you think about the past, but it's not making you think of the past because this relationship is meant to come back together. It is making you think of the past because you haven't finished learning a lesson. You have not accepted that this is not the person for you, that you deserve better. You have not come to fully loving yourself enough to not accept the shenanigans anymore. Kind of like if someone if someone's big lesson, one of their big lessons, because we come with multiple big lessons, but say someone's big lesson in life is abandonment. And they are to learn that they're never alone. You know, God's always with them. Angels are always with them. Um, but they are to learn and heal this abandonment thing within their soul. What will happen is they will be presented with multiple opportunities to heal abandonment. So they may have a lover or they may have multiple lovers come into their life where each person just up and leaves them. Doesn't call, doesn't do this, doesn't respond. Um, and then they'll also have friends like that too. Like they'll just have friends up and disappear. And, and they just like don't understand because it's ended up look at their parents. They felt abandoned by their parents. And, and looking back over life, they'll realize it was abandonment. But maybe they have this lover who just kept up and abandoning them, ghosting them on top of all the other abandonment, <laughs> we'll say, opportunities for healing that have presented them during their lifetime and they'll realize oh that this lover you know holy moly I don't love them I don't want to be with them but when they heal that fear of abandonment poof suddenly they're no longer thinking about that person suddenly there's no nostalgic feelings because when you heal the core wound so for a number of you this person is triggering to help you heal a core deep wound. For some of you, it is abandonment. For some of you, it's control things. For some of you, it is not feeling worthy, not loving yourself enough. But when you heal that and you are in the process of healing that, when you heal that, it doesn't matter if Mercury retrograde comes up, you won't think of that person anymore. You won't look back on the far and few rare positive times and memories that you had with this person like, oh, I missed that. No, you look at it like, okay, well, we had some good times. We had a lot of bad times. And, and thank you, God, for helping me learn that lesson. So I was able to move on to this amazing relationship that I have. The only reason you're triggered back to this person, and it is triggering you right now as we're heading into Mercury Retrograde, is because you have not concluded that healing. You've got this, this Knight of Swords. You know, Knight of Swords, he's a courageous warrior. I mean, look at him. He is ready to take whatever on. But it's also anger and conflict and hostility, skill, dexterity. You have the ability to heal this. You have the ability to overcome this, to heal your heart. They're encouraging you to no longer be afraid of this change. Because for many of you, they're saying this person has been in and out of your life for years. Like for some of you, 15, 20 years. Like for some of you, you've been with each other since high school, college. It has not been good because it is a lesson that you have needed to learn. But for a number of you, you have repeated the cycle out of fear of change. So the angels are encouraging you, do not be fearful of change. Be the courageous warrior. Go out on, their, on your own. Bust out of this prison. I mean, look at this. This relationship has been cold and icy and dead and over for a very long time. But it's about you accepting the truth moving out, freeing yourself from that. And look at all these spikes on his armor. There was a lot of angry words and backstabbing and, and a lot of, they, they say betrayal and extremely toxic things that occurred in this relationship. They're encouraging you to love yourself enough to move on, to bust out and don't ever look back again. It is time to grieve your losses and let this finally for good fall away so that someone new can come in. Allow yourself to overcome the adversity with, with dignity and honor and grace and integrity. Don't allow the whole mercury retrograde and those emotions pull you back in. Instead, continue to focus on your healing. Conclude that healing so that you can press forward because you have someone amazing. For those of you who use relationship, you have someone amazing coming in. And, and use this time to think about what do you want. So maybe there were some good things. Maybe when that person was around, every once in a blue moon. Maybe they brought you breakfast in bed. Maybe you're like, I really liked that. So sit down and think about what is it that you want in a partner and write that down. Like, you know, 
I want someone that's kind and caring. I want someone who is there for me, someone I can count on. I want someone who's going to bring me breakfast in bed and, and put together what it is that you desire in a partnership, what it is that you want in a partnership. Now, for some of you, you have been frustrated wondering why is this new partnership not coming in? Part of it is tied to divine timing, but the other big piece of it is you, you haven't allowed this to fall away so that the new can fully come in. Now, if you take the angel's recommendations, focus on what you want to have, finally stepping away, your cards that you have are the Hanged Man and the Ace of Swords. So, you've been stuck for a very long time. You see, he's almost completely unthought. And another sign had this card too. Um, but his, his back is to this, this Ace of Swords. Clarity. So, you are going to overcome these challenges. You are going to get past this. You are going to get past the cycle with this person. You will, you will be open finally to this new person. And for a number of you, if you can just put in the work and be ready, you see that new move, you'll be ready for the new person because the new person that's coming in is going to knock your sexes. They're going to blow you away. And you will be getting the clarity by continuing to resist the urge. Because for some of you, you've got like this urge to reach out to this person by resisting the urge to reach out to them. Continuing to focus, because again, by themselves, by themselves, like by again, continuing to focus on yourself meditating, praying, paying attention to your signs, you will get the clarity that you need to make a good judgment call and finally let them go, let this go. Okay, so I was asking if there's anything else about your situation because they were talking about work. Um, we've got despair, thoughts, and high honor. So, see he was like left out in the cold, but now he's thinking about someone new. This new person he's thinking about, they're like this 21 gun salute. They are like the high honor. They are like this massive upgrade. Way better than the one that left him out in the cold. The person that left him out in the cold in despair, the person who was not loyal, the person who was not faithful, because dogs are all about friendship. So for some of you, you know, this relationship did have a foundation, a basis. I don't know if it's going to zoom. There we go. Did have a foundation and basis of friendship. But that friendship was betrayed. That loyalty was betrayed. There was deception, lies, trickery. So now he's thinking about this new person. He's not with the new person yet. He's not even taking any actions with the new person yet. But that new person is a massive Hella huge, huge upgrade. So when he does take the action and moves toward that person, be like, what in the world was I ever doing with her? So you are in this in-between phase right now where you're thinking, you're contemplating. If you can have the courage to allow the old to go, allow this person that made you feel in the cold, made you feel alone, this person that was helping give you the lessons, if you allow them to just stay in the past where they're meant to be, you have the dream boat coming in. So use this time, like the angels are recommending, to be very clear about what you want, what you desire in a relationship. Aha, there's the work piece. Now for a very small number of you, very small, may only be a few of you, you have been contemplating changing careers, but you are very fearful, you are very worried about doing that and you are being encouraged to, to think about what it is that you desire. If you could do anything, what would it be? And then put that out there so that you can start to manifest that. Because things have to happen in steps. Like, you know, if we think, oh my gosh, you know, I'd never be able to start my, my own, you know, maybe you want to do a marketing business, you know. I'd never be able to start my own marketing business, and so I'm going to stay in this accounting job because it's what I've known for 20 years. Well, Allow yourself to start thinking like, okay, if I could do anything, if I could really have that marketing business, oh my gosh, what would I like to do? And start daydreaming, thinking about that. And then, because from the daydreaming, you know, you're gonna get excited about it. And then from there, you'll, you'll start putting a business plan together. And then from there, then you'll start looking at getting investors and people to help get you the financial backing to start the business. But you know, you have to start in step one. Again, baby steps. Don't even spend any time. Don't let Mercury retrograde try to trick you. Instead, conclude your healing. Put your list of what you desire so that can be brought into you. So hopefully this helps all of you. With a lot of love, joy, and blessings.